Yo, 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 what's good, world? Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Gio, man. I'm back with another one, man. I got something I got to talk to y'all about, man. It's about Jaguar, right, man? Her son is coming out, man, and talking all about her. And it's a lot of stuff, man, that's going on that he's saying, a lot of information he's giving out. And I'm not trying to miss information, anything. This one is like, I mean, I'm neutral on all my videos. All I'm doing is giving out what's already, you know, been put out or given to me. And as far as uh, new things that then came out, man. But all I can say is Jaguar's son is not cool with her. They have a lot of problems right now. And, you know, she's saying that he's autistic. He's not all the way there. And, you know, on the interview, he seemed like he's intelligent you know um you know he seems like he knows what he's talking about and i'm not even gonna front i'm not gonna say he is he ain't i, I don't know personally you know it's something for y'all to tune into i'm just here to give out the information and get y'all informed on everything that's going on but her and her son got beef and uh seems like he's intelligent man and uh what he got to say about her is nothing good um, from what I'm hearing, he's making a tell-all book, and from what I'm hearing, also, she's suing him for coming out with the tell-all book about any and everything that's going on with the industry she's been in, and the relationships that they've had, and things that they got going on, and uh, it's not looking good at all. I want to keep this video short. I want y'all to just check this out. Let me know what y'all think. Drop in the comments. Let's talk about it, man. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, man. Let me know what y'all think about this whole ordeal. I did not know that she had an older son like that. I mean, I'm not surprised or whatnot, whatever. But to hear what he has to say on the interview, it just blows my mind. And, uh... It's not a good look, especially if it goes viral, then they can be bumping heads, basically, man. And uh, this is crazy news, man. Crazy, crazy news. You know, she already got stuff she got going on. And, you know, this is this is crazy, man. Um, All I can say is that I don't want to say much on this one, man. That's her son, you know, and son that's his mother so i'm gonna let y'all do y'all research on this one and let me know what y'all think about this whole situation man and uh let's talk about it man and uh once again you know i gotta say i appreciate the love support man everything y'all been doing to help get this channel bigger man and we're growing and uh can't wait to go live with y'all man Y'all guys and gals, man, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a great time, man, to be able to connect with all of y'all, man. And, uh, you know, y'all family, man, and that's that's what it is. But y'all got to check this one out. Let me know what y'all think, man. I'm out. If it is said that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that his children may be free from the grasp of sin. Okay. What would it mean to a person if they loved something so dearly? I just called CPS to show them how you abandon children and abandon your children. Laugh and joke about them having to fend for themselves at two years old. You are Jaguar Rice, youngest son. Yes. Sam Odom Jr., AKA Deuce. I love Jacqueline Suzette Wright. She is my mother, and I love her with every bit of my being, in spite of the things that she's done. However, Jaguar Wright is the kind of person I abhor. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my life. Now, you said your mama was a prostitute. I have the original drawing that captures everything that I view that my mother has become. Did this is imagine? a demon. That is a succubus. Are you looking for me, officer? I think they're going to arrest me now. 
your mom was arrested on live one day and you guys were inside a hotel and it was like boxes stacked up yes. everywhere. You guys were hungry. There was no food and she gets arrested. Do you remember that day? You would like me to give further details. Yes, I do. My wallet is in my hotel room with my son and my mother who have been being harassed online all day. On the night before that eviction, I saw the eviction notice, but basically the pink slip in, in a yellow sheet saying, you need to move all of your things out now or we will forcefully remove it from the apartment. Okay. I sent her the picture of it saying, uh, what are we going to do about this? But she said to me that it was perfectly fine. It's nothing to fret over it, just relax in your room. Basically treating it as if it were normal. Okay. Even though I believe everyone can agree that for evictions is something no one should go through. You guys have the same storyteller elements. She is a dead son of narcissism who has been overfueled with the eutrophication of love from her father and her mother at such a young age, well before her double digits, that it spoiled her rotten and led her to believe that she was a shining, a shining star amidst the cosmos, when in actuality, she burnt out. Oh. Four, in the current cycle of degenerosity, and this goes beyond just the falsity of black excellence replaced with black degenerosity. This extends to every single person and every single race. If we continue this cycle of degenerosity, it will exponentially get worse. You guys have the same storyteller elements. She is a dead son of narcissism who has been overfueled with the eutrophication of love from her father and her mother at such a young age, well before her double digits, that it spoiled her rotten and led her to believe that she was a shining, a shining star amidst the cosmos, when in actuality, she burnt out. Oh. Four, in the current cycle of degenerosity, and this goes beyond just the falsity of black excellence replaced with black degenerosity. This extends to every single person and every single race. If we continue this cycle of degenerosity, it will exponentially get worse. I have the original drawing that captures everything that I view that my mother has become. Okay. I have a more quality version that uh, I adapted into a digital This is a picture. demon. That is a succubus. And this is an angel. Yes. To put it in visualization for everyone to articulate. Okay. That demon looks somewhat similar to a disheveled articulation of my mother. I had once believed that she was a good person infested by a hive of demons. In actuality, no. She had converted into a full-on demoness when she was when she was completely filled with love and not enough discipline. Oh, so basically and, spoiled. Yes, okay. spoiled. Hence the narcissism. It may not be medically stated, but it is effectively true. This is egotism in its fullest form, mostly. Articulated from one being. Okay. She has been stranded in an abyss that she has cast herself into for all this time. And in my digital formulation, that abyss is much more articulated. And she is floating in front of the in front of very old, olden teeth. The teeth of the spiritual beast Leviathan, the primordial aquatic beast God had sent down from heaven. And for those of you of the religious sects, who know this, you know what that means when my mother is in front of those jaws. But for those who don't, it is long speculated that in the spiritual world, the Leviathan's maw serves as the entrance to hell itself. My mother is basically floating right in front of it, but she's not swimming away. Why? Because there is a mirror of tenebris a fell reflection that is portraying to her her ideal world. The angel that she once was, all grown up, singing the hymns of God like she were an angel, thus keeping her trapped down there. 
her vocal cords stripped away and given to an irreparable mind. That is whom Jaguar Ride is, while the mirror is what she thinks she is, and what, at least, I can articulate is a imperfect articulation of Jacqueline Suzette Wright growing up. You just taught me something today. So if you spoil a kid and never discipline the kid, this is what becomes of them. Love, as beautiful as it is, is a very meticulous, double-edged dance. It is a rose, a beautiful flower that is protected by thorns. And too much of something can turn into a bad thing. And depending on what it is, it can either be something very light that can be cured or an insidious, vile, serpentine poison that can corrupt a person for as long as their life allows them if no one stops them. Too much love is what turned my mother into the demoness that her persona is now. Your mom claims that you have autism, if I'm not mistaken. <sighs> okay. Why are you why are you deep why are you taking a deep breath like that? I'm taking a deep breath right now because this is gonna be one of the many instances in which my uh in which how I describe my mother is gonna vastly differ from how I described her when in our last interview. Okay. Basically, the claim of autism is completely false. Okay. If it seems like I have autism, it's just the fact that I'm very socially awkward when it comes to people. Even nowadays, I don't consider myself a member of Gen Z in terms of behavior. Okay. I'm very, and if I am, I'm very highly intellectual, far from the norm. Okay. And I have my own measure in which I study things and decipher things. I take a lot of things into detail, especially when it comes to nature or artwork, which hence how I like the artwork so much, especially when it comes to music too, deciphering certain things here and there that many people may miss. Or say, for example, when someone's editing something, I may come across a, across a couple gaffes here and there that other people may dismiss on the majority, but only a very few will feel but say uh, i'm not so sure about it okay this to my mother feels like something on the form of autism that could be possible but it's not exactly the case for example i do not strictly order things in specific patterns or whatnot i haven't really cared for it what i do care for is organization as it keeps things clean to keep things tidy and makes things easier to move around okay but that isn't a consistent thing that i double down on okay has she told you that you were autistic? She has told me many occasions, but like always, there hasn't been a doctor to confirm it. Okay. She's always been wanting to do so, but I believe even if I, even if I see a doctor now, the result is going to come up negative. Okay. What about Asperger's? Asperger's, same thing. Not the case. Okay. Has she said anything like that to you? I mean, because like she's very, she's very open with these interviews about the mm -hmm. condition that you were born with and that she's, you know, gotten benefits for. Your dad is, he stands 10 toes down and says, there's nothing wrong with you. He just says, like, you just do things differently. I agree with, more with my father than my mother in this case. Okay. If I if I was in, if I indeed had uh, Asperger's autism or autism in general, I feel like my behavior would be even more radically different than so. And my behaviors to many things would be a lot more different than than, than was the case. I mean, I've gone to many schools over the years, okay. but across all of them, I treat them all the same way. And I'm just at, with, with my own very high cognitive function and I'm capable of doing well in any environment really, and even adapting to different environments. Oh, <laughs>